everybody, it's Deanna, and today I'm going to be bringing you my October book haul. So, in the month of October, I bought a total of 11 books. Um, some were free, some were given to me, um, but most of them I did buy, and now I'm going on a book buying ban. Uh, no more books, uh, because I have just way too many to read, and... I just can't keep buying them unless I'm going to read them. The only two books that I really want and I might still buy are Gemina, which is the second book to Illuminate, and The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Those two I am so, so excited for, and they just came out and they both sound amazing. Illuminate was like probably my favorite book of the year so far, and The Sun is Also a Star is about an interracial relationship which I'm in, so I'm pretty interested in that. So other than books that I get for gifts in December, um, for my birthday and for Christmas, I'm not gonna buy any more. So I have 11 books here to show you, so let's get into it. The first book is from a book outlet order that I made at the beginning of the month, and uh, this was because I saw The Rose and the Dagger on there by Renee Audier. This is the second book to The Wrath and the Dawn, uh, Renee Audier's um, duology, and I read the first book in the summer and I really enjoyed it, so when I saw this on there for like $7, I really had to pick it up. And then because it is a book outlet order, you can't just buy one book because that doesn't justify shipping. So I also picked up The Winner's Crime by Marie Rutkowski. And this is the second book to The Winner's Kiss. And I still haven't read the first book, but it sounds really intriguing. And I heard people absolutely adore the series. So I'm really looking forward to reading it. Um, I love the hardcover editions because they recently redid the um, covers for all of the the soft cover versions and they look absolutely terrible in my opinion, um, like really cheesy. So um, these ones are a lot nicer and they have like the nice deckled edges and again I'm really excited to read this series because I've heard so much about it. And the last book for that book outlet order, I got the Three Body Problem. So apparently this book is sci-fi, I don't know anything about it, but I'm on a huge sci-fi kick lately. Um, Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes, she talked about this book and um, she said she was really excited to read it. And I've never read a translated book before, I don't believe. So this will be a really interesting experience for sure and I'm excited for this one. Then at my university they were having a free book week and for that I saw The Gunslinger there by Stephen King. This is the first book to his Dark Tower series. Uh, I don't know how many are in the series and I've also never read a Stephen King book so this is just my going to be my first. I picked it up because I believe the movie is going to be coming out like next year or they're casting for it right now and I know Idris Elba just got casted for the main character and I really like Idris Elba if you haven't seen Luther it's on Netflix go watch it and um, I really like him as an actor so I really wanted to read the book as well and then I had some time off from university I had a week off for reading week and uh, me and my boyfriend went into Toronto we went to my favorite bookstore called BMV Books, and there I saw The Diviners by Libba Bray. Uh, this is her first book to a 1920s um, thieves or heist, one of the two there. Um, but this hardcover version is so beautiful, and I think I got it pretty cheap. Yeah, $7.99. So, um... All the books there are second hand but in really good condition and I was so happy to find this hardcover because it's gorgeous. Like at and like under the dust jacket, look at this. Oh, so pretty. So this was like my most exciting find of the day and I'm really looking forward to reading this. It's quite thick but it should be fun. And then also at BMV, I found Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Groudon. This I was also really excited to find. I know it's about uh, a version of reality where Hitler has won the war. Basically, it's about this girl who enters a motorcycle race to try and kill Hitler, or something along those lines. Um, so it sounds really interesting. I've never read anything by Ryan Groudon before, but I've heard really good things, and I was so happy to find this hardback and I'm just really excited to read this. 
And then I found The Martian by Andy Weir. I know like everyone has already read this book. I've only seen the movie and I love the movie, but the book sounds awesome. Uh, I heard from Chelsea over at Chelsea Dolling Reads. I'll link her channel down below. She told me that this is one of her top two funniest reads like of the year I believe and I never pinned this book to be humorous so it'll be really interesting to read and I'm looking forward to a good laugh for this one. And then I found a book in the sci-fi section that I was super excited to find and that is 172 Hours on the Moon by John Harstad. I've heard so many booktubers talk about this book as like one of their top thriller books to read. Um, it's about these kids who go to the moon and they see like horrible things there, unspeakable things and I like just love the sound of that. I'm in the mood for like a thrillery book so um, I was super excited to find this and it's been recommended by so many people. I think the last person I remember talking about it was Raylene from Padfoot and Prong 07 and um, yeah so it's got a lot of hype for this book and I'm really looking forward to reading this. In the last book that I got at BMV I saw just as I was about to pay and leave and that was The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie. And I saw this book and I actually put down another book so I could buy this one instead because I've had this on my TBR and been looking for it um, for a while. The premise sounds really interesting. I don't really know much about it other than I think it's about a boy who lives on an uh, indigenous reservation. There's a lot of stuff happening in the news right now um, surrounding indigenous issues, specifically Standing Rock and the Dakota Access Pipeline. If you don't know what that is, I would personally recommend looking it up. Um, so I was really interested to find this and pick it up. And then when we got back from Toronto, I was going to my local chapters, which is our bookstore chain here in Canada, um, and Victoria Schwab was going to be there. Uh, she and Melissa De La Cruz were going to be there for talking about their um, newest releases, and then they were going to be doing a book signing afterwards, and I couldn't pass this up. I've never read anything by Victoria Schwab still, but I've heard nothing but amazing things from the booktube world and the booktube community really showed me Victoria Schwab's books. I had no idea what they were before. So I went and I had recently picked up this Savage Song by Victoria Schwab and um, so I got to meet her and I got her to sign this book right there. So it says to Deanna and then it said, that is her signature and she drew this little bug thing I think. <laughs> Victoria is such a sweet, sweet girl. Um, she was wearing a Kel coat. So I guess Kel is the main character in A Darker Shade of Magic. She had a coat custom made for her, uh, black with like silver buttons all down both sides, and she wore it, and she was just such a sweet lady. My boyfriend surprised me with buying me A Darker Shade of Magic um, by her, and like boyfriend of the year award right there because I wasn't going to buy this I was just gonna get um, the Savage Song signed and then because I had still never read this series and I knew I wouldn't get to it right away no author has ever come to Canada and so he surprised me by buying this in the store and giving it to me for her to sign so she signed it right there and then she also called says as traveler because she told a story how a Darker Shade of Magic was supposed to be called Traveler, or Travelers, one of the two. And there was a big conflict at her editing company because in Canada and the UK we use um, the British spelling, which is with two L's in Traveler, and the American spelling is with one L, so they couldn't figure out the spelling and which to put on the cover, so they changed it to this one after a couple times. So that was a really cool piece of information, and I was so happy to have those two books signed by Victoria. So that's everything for my October book haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I probably won't be doing another book haul for a while, probably until like December, I'm hoping. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Happy reading, and I'll see you later.